What's up? I'm Darren Rose with Beta Records TV, joining us in studio today, all the way from the UK, singer and award-winning songwriter, Jesse J. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks for joining us. So you're in the States promoting your record. Yeah. Tell us a little about that. Um, it's called Who You Are. I've been writing it for a good five years now. How have you changed in the last five years as an artist? Um, to know what's interesting to sing about, like taking bits of experience and kind of things that have happened to me growing up and knowing how other people can relate to that. Mm -hmm. um, so from like the first song that I ever wrote, Big White Room, to like now writing Who You Are, you can hear the maturity and the kind of growth that I've made as a person. Can you write songs pretty quickly? I'm quite impatient. I go into the studio almost wanting to hear the song so I know if it's worth writing or not. Mm -hmm. I don't like sitting on it, like, you know, when people sit there and try and find a rhyme and you're just like, can we just go into something else and come back to it? Um, but no, I like, I'm quick. Once I've got an idea, I'll roll with it. How old were you when you wrote your first song? 17. When you, when you were a little girl growing up, did you ever play around? I wrote poems. With... I was like mm -hmm. some intense child. You know when like we go on school trips and everyone else is like making up songs at the front? I'd be at the back writing poetry like, what is beautiful? And people just intrigued me. I was just always very much a people person. I like to observe. When did Jessie J first realize that she could sing really well? I did musical theatre my whole life up until I was 18. I always wanted to be on the stage. And I think when I was around 16 or 17, I went, wow, I've been training my whole, whole life to be like everyone else, and I actually just want to be me. I always like to express myself through song. I, I don't know, I just, I loved singing. You've uh, toured and worked with some music legends, Macy Gray, Cindy Lauper. What have you learned from some of those other artists? I just watch and I observe on how people do things and the way they control their voice or the way they, you know, they, they, the audience banter or what songs they sing in what order and little things like that that I think are really important about a show that people don't really think about. I mean, Cindy Lauper was incredible and she came into my dressing room on the first night and was like, do you want to sing Girls With Me? I mean, to be asked by Cindy Lauper to sing Girls Wanna Have Fun on stage. You can't get better life music experience than that. Like, I know who I am and I know what, I know what I'm good at, but I know that every single day I'm around people that have been either doing it longer than me or do things that I don't do. So I respect every single artist that's in the industry because they're physically doing something that I'm not. Whether it's to my taste or not is a different story, but it's a matter of I'm not doing what you're doing and you're not doing what I'm doing, but I will learn and take different bits and, you know, and just try and better myself as an artist every day. The moment I'm not nervous before I go on stage is the moment I'm like, I don't know if this is for me anymore, because I think for me, nerves and anxiety is what makes me tick. Like, I'll go on stage. I love being uncomfortable. Just from hearing you talk, you have that relationship with yourself. Yeah. And you're able to dig into the the happiness and the sadness and... I think it's really important to be able to expose your flaws as well as your positives. I want to share with the world experiences that I've had that I know other girls have got or guys or whoever have been through that may not be able to put it into a song. You know that, that three minute song you just need to cry your eyes out to and then it's over. Obviously you write for yourself and you write for other artists. How does, how does one get into writing? How do you... It took me a long time to call myself a songwriter. It's really hard to be respected in that way, because it's like, you can write songs, but it's whether people want to listen to them. The first song I ever gave away was Party in the USA, when it went called Drupal Platinum. So the pressure now is on. Mm -hmm. It's like, so what are you going to sing next? What are you going to give away now? Do you ever sit down and write, now that you have some success and ex more experience, write a song specifically for someone? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether it ends up in their hands or not is a different story, but... Um, I think I'm learning what suits me and what doesn't. Or realistically, what I want to sing about and what I don't want to sing about. So what's an example of a song that you sat down and specifically wrote for somebody? Um, I actually wrote my first UK single for Rihanna. And I remember sending it to the, to the label and I was like, I'm just sending this, this to you in case it's my single. And they replied saying, this is your first single. So yeah, I got that one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> which, yeah. And which song was that? Do It Like A Dude. Okay. So yeah, Rihanna, if you're watching, sorry babes, you can do a remix. We'll do a remix duet together or something. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody look to their left, yeah. Everybody look to their right. Can you feel that? Ha, 